Hello everybody, welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. I'm your host, Admiral Tintin. Today I'm playing the game for the first time. I have had it for a while, but I haven't been able, had a chance to play it. So I guess you get to get into it with me and have uh, as much fun as I will, or as much absolute screaming fits as I will. So <laughs> let's hope it's an enjoyable one. And I, don't, I try to keep my language under control. So I appreciate you for being here, giving it a like, follow, share, and subscribe as always. And if you wish to, leave a comment below, and let's get into the show. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Approaching 4546 speed. Surface temperatures. Drop pond deployed. <laughs> wow, I'd say things are going ugly. Well, it's one way to get entry. You look like a meteorite falling. Strong legs. Well, there's the drop pod. Well, nice. 45, 46 speed. Enjoy your stay. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, what's this? Can we pick any of this up? No, 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 nothing. Okay. Uh, we got sprint always on. Holy jumping! Okay, it looked Holy at me. Holy smokes! That did not go as planned. I should find Check. a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Oh, these are radiating heat. Nuts! Uh. Oh, and you can get burned. Of course. Whoa. Okay, so if you don't know, Altera was the company that most of this these people work for, and in the first game, Altera basically abandons your butt and then charges you a fortune when you finally make it off the planet. So it's, <laughs> yeah, they're not a cool company. They're very uh, governmentally controlled. Uh oh. Okay. Well, uh, that's not good. Well, this is uh, Subnaka, so here we go, into the water. In the first game, we had some sort of bacterial virus that was in the water that was killing everything. New creature discovered. Let's get the basics here. New creature discovered. Okay. No, we're running out of oxygen. <coughs> okay, well, let's release this guy for now. There you go. Go swimming, buddy. What's that one? It looks like a... From the first one. New Bladder creature fish. discovered. Ah, this is for oxygen. Okay, drop pod. Where are you? New blueprint synthesized. There they are. Well, the drop pod ended up under the water, which is interesting. Oh, I hear something dark and deep. That's uh, not cool. Uh, we gotta go up. Can't get in that way. How do we get in? This way? Ah, oh, there's a door. Oh, man. And the drop pod. <coughs> All those meteorites crashing into the world I makes it more noisy. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as basemates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. 
It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Ah, okay, well, that's... Uh, unfortunate as heck. What's this scan message? Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after Augie. my best little potato. Augie. <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the Stargy Tuber as nicknames to you. <laughs> anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Nice, Love you. thanks. Hey, what's Four, this five, one? four, six, B to Robin. <laughs> Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old-timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but... You, actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing, but <laughs> anyway, um I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. <laughs> I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Okay, so obviously that's sister, and things are kind of going swimmingly well, and I'm assuming hey, something Robin. goes bad. I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. Um... A bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my panglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line, my job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Altera family, yeah. They're a crooked company. You find that out in the first one, how crooked they really are. But that's all right. Uh, seems like we're so. I'm gonna go through these, and you guys can listen to them. My mistake. Uh, apologize for cutting in. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry. My last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this, I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, 
anyway. I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said. But I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is gonna happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. No, it's a cat. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. <coughs> we found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, uh, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please. Could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Okay, so apparently Altera's digging their arse into bio warfare again. Uh, kind of like on the first one, you end up on the planet, it's got bio contagion in the water, it affects you, um, it does some nasty stuff to you, and you've got to find a way to get off the planet. You can't get off the planet because of the certain structure that's in there. I don't want to spoil it too much. Um, that actually keeps you from leaving the planet because you're contagion. You've already picked up the contagion the moment you land. Um, so you've literally got to go through the game to find a way to remove the contagion from yourself and escape the planet. You find out that it's part of Altera's uh, experimental crap with these leviathans and uh, certain creatures in the water. So once again, it seems like they're up to no good. Okay, so this is uh, Arctic Survival Almanac on Arrival. Welcome to Adventure Mode. Xeno Worker, you have arrived on Arctic Climate. Your great exp <laughs> expedition begins. Okay, so I'll let you guys go ahead and read all this. Um, go ahead, pause it, whichever you need, and continue with the read. I'll skim through really quick for myself, and we'll continue on. So, survival checklist is retreat uh, to a safe environment, administer first aid if required, retrieve energy supplies if available, survey equipment and threats of resources, find construct and re reliable habitat, construct necessary survival equipment using habitat fabricator, which is that device on the wall, locate other survivors using line of sight and radio, of course, maintain physical and phys physiological health and rescue. So that last part makes me think there might be a contagion in the water again arctic survival almanac of the surface adventure exploring the surface in the cold water climates advertise additional uh precautions now in the first one you really didn't have a lot of surface areas so there was like two islands essentially one was rather small and the other one wasn't much bigger uh that provided some surface exploration it wasn't huge but it was there so high winds can result in rapid onset of hyperthermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter and restoration hot springs. Well, I would think those flowers would probably do that. If wearing a standard issue AEP suit, uh, bodies of water may provide safety from extreme colds. Um, interesting. Unexpected detours occur. You'll never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch and toasty hot beverage if possible. We can say, say this enough layers uh, well, oh, we can't say this enough. Layers. Uh, investing in quality cold suit. Uh, certain pay dividends. In Charity warm intake suit. recommended. Oh, well, what? Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Okay, so basically I'm low on food. Alright. So we need to go to substance. And we're going to cook this little bugger up that we caught. <coughs> Yum. Water. Uh, yep. We need a bladder fish, which we had. I let him go. 
but there we go okay cured hypofish uh, cured bladderfish okay so personal equipment let's see o2 tank fins that's good so we need some mesh for that it's all pretty standard to the first game if you haven't played the first game at all or seen videos on it and if you want me to do a video on it as in go back to the beginning and do it myself uh, I can do that for you guys no problem or I can just shoot you a video of the ending of my first one if you like but uh, let me know in the comments below on that one um, but if you wish to see videos of the first one or hey go play it it was quite enjoyable scary at first and after a while you do get used to some of the stuff but uh, it's always expanding on new, on new ideas so okay so this one anyway by basic materials we need fiber mesh silicone rubber and glass that's what uh, is made from the recipe uh, this one's electronics which is batteries copper wire uh, computer chips and wiring kits so this is all pretty standard to the first game as I just said so that'll be okay uh, we're not sure okay that's the exit obviously and we got nothing else and it's dark out oh we have no dome on the top of us so we can't see outside okay so how do we get to inventory so let's jump open up that that's that message okay we're gonna go through that in a minute uh, consume vital signs stabilizing there we go okay so there's the recipes uh, of all the different stuff we can craft and I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a scanner first so we need to make a battery and what do we need to make a battery we need some uh, <sighs> Uh, ribbon plant and copper ore. Well, that'll be interesting to acquire. We went through all these messages in the almanac, so we're good there. Now we just need to get out and get some stuff and hope we don't get eaten alive or find dangers within the water within a short amount of time. Or can I supply cash nearby? Hmm. Uh, okay, well, if you remember the first game getting out in the water right off the bat and swimming anywhere too far was extremely dangerous especially early on should be able to use this so you had to be extremely careful as to where you were going and as you can tell we this is a submersible game so the deeper you go the worse it gets let's uh, try to keep ourselves Oh boy. Uh, our oxygen's low. Oxygen. Yeah, I know. I heard oxygen just a moment ago. Thank you. Uh, we have no knife for that. Gotta get up and get our oxygen. Oh, oh. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, what's going on? What the hell? Hey, I can't move at all. I got stuck in the ice. No way. That was crazy. I couldn't move. Okay, what the heck was that? Oh, 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 oh! That's what it was, little buggers. Come here, you little shit. Come here. Don't spit that crap at me. Wow. Okay, so we got to be extremely careful. Oxygen. Uh, yeah, okay. We don't have an oxygen tank yet. What is this? It's a big snail. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting laced by these little puckers, man. <laughs> oh, barely started the game and I'm getting laced by these little dudes. New creature discovered. Okay, we're gonna have to go into that after. Uh, 
oxygen. I don't want to release it. I would just like to just kind of, yeah. Uh. Oh! Wow, that's going to be a pain in the butt, man. Um. Darn. Okay. I want bladder fish because we need oxygen. Uh, these little penguins, man. are not nice. They're pretty gnarly. Oh, what is that? That's a new one. That little bugger there, he swims past. New creature discovered. Ah, it's a different peeper. It's an aquatic peeper. Cool. Now, in the first one, you could use peepers in your inventory to uh, to uh, feed to a leviathan and it would leave you alone okay I'm sorry little fishy but you are literally dinner man okay we need to craft filtered water we'll take that and we need some food sorry little guy you have to be dinner, man. Okay, and then we can do this. These are okay. Cured zombite. Zombite. Oh, yeah. Salt deposit. Odorless but sour. Cold and salty. Oh, recipes for the new stuff. Okay. Okay, so now we need to eat because we are hungry. get some more food here before we get too far <clears throat> we have no knife so we need to make a knife what the heck was that oh there it is what is it is it dangerous is it gonna eat us it's a sea monkey oh they aren't they cute here will it will it eat can I feed you no can't feed it. Oxygen. Yes, I got it. Oxygen. That's going to be our first priority. I can't harvest anything, so we need a knife. Um, let's get back to here. See if we can't gather some materials that are close by. Some serious noisy sounds going on. That's way open the deep. It's close enough though. Okay. I don't know how much material we're gonna need, but obviously a fair bit. Oxygen. Oh I know, I know. Where are you little peeper? That is some crazy stuff. Okay, so materials are the biggest thing. We need materials. Wow, that is scary sounding. I really don't know what that is. But it is uh, definitely frightening. Sounds big. And uh, that's our... Okay, so we want to do this. Cooked food. No, with the bladder fish, we want to make water. Or oxygen, preferably, but water works. Okay, is that our... Oh, that's our storage. Okay, so we got filtered water. We have some titanium and stuff in here. Um, that's our supply station. What is this personal log? I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Yeah, I'll bet. 
Okay, so we can change the color. So we're going to make that red as in our priority. Actually, yeah, no, that'll be red for priority. We want the drop pod to be green so that we know that that's safe. That's home. Okay, so let's see if we can make uh, a knife or something here. We need a knife, personal equipment tools. Survival knife, silicone rubber. I don't even know how to make any of this crap. Um, Seek fluid intake. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sitting here not doing anything and you want me to seek fluid intake. Where am I going to pee in the water? Uh, yeah, we, we can't even make any of this stuff yet. Oh, here we go. Silicone rubber requires fins. What? Translate vertical limb movements underwater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's for fins. No, we, we want to make silicone rubber. Okay, so we need to know how to make silicone rubber. Inventory. How do we get to inventory? Oops. Uh, inventory. How do we get to inventory? Um, being a domer. Oh. You know, I know that's jump. Stop doing the jump thing. Well, it's just open storage. But we don't want to open storage. Yeah, see, you know, this is in my inventory. So put that back. That, that, that. Um. There we go. Vital signs stabilizing. It was kind of weird for a minute there. I, I lost all sense of smarts. <laughs> okay, let's get out here and get some more food and water. Do a little bit of exploration. Uh, I would really like to get that out of my... Yeah, I don't want to consume it. I just would like it not to be in my right hand the whole time. These peeper fish, man, they're quick. They dart around fast. That sounds like a whale in the distance. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at them jumping out of the water, smarts. Gotcha. Food is good. Food is life. I can't even scan it because I don't have a scanner yet. Oh man, this sucks. We need a knife and we need a scanner. See, in the first game, you actually get a knife and a scanner right off the bat. Uh, apparently not in this one. So we need to make all that. Oxygen. Yes, yes, my oxygen isn't horrible yet. Come on. It's low, but we're not talking deathly low. Oh, goodness. The deeper you go, the worse it gets. And this is nothing. Oh, you little peeper, you escaped my grab. I hated that. Having to switch to the thumb, to the X button from your thumb. Uh oh, uh oh, we got meteorites crashing in the water. Okay. Uh... Cook the peeper, we want to make water. Cook all these guys up. <clears throat> Need food, so right now they're a food source. How do we make our tools? Yes, yes, I know. That's gonna stop. Okay. Uh, we need to make a scanner. So we need that battery. We definitely need a battery. And to make a battery, we need ribbon plant. So in order to collect ribbon plant, we need a knife. Uh, in order to make a knife, we need silicone rubber. So let's look up silicone rubber. 
creep vine seed cluster. So that's going to be the biggest one. All right. Where are our creep vines? And we need the seed cluster off of them. So remember those long things where those fish were spitting at me and causing me to freeze up? Yeah, we've got to go over there. What is that? Oh, I don't even want to know. Uh oh, we need to grab oxygen before we go in here. Okay. Oxygenated. And let's go grab these clusters. We need seeds off of these. They should look like little seed pods. Right there. There we go. That's what we need right there. New blueprint synthesized. That's what we need, and the water's gone green over here. That's not a good sign when water changes color. And not from urine either. Okay. Hello, Fever. I'll save you. <laughs> not really, but we're, we're going to say it's saving him. Obviously very cold outside. Uh, I, I kind of lied, Peeper. I'm really sorry, buddy. But... You, you do know your, your kind of food, right? Yeah. Okay, um, tools. We need that knife. Absolutely need that knife. Nice. Knife is good. Knife is gold. Basic materials. We need more silicone rubber. Okay. And equipment. Let's see what else we can make. Oh, fins. Fins would be good. We could swim faster. That'd be good. Let's have those. Uh, okay, so we need a battery, right? Battery. So we know how to make silicone rubber now. Okay, uh, battery. We need ribbon plant. So, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of this. And we'll make one of those. I'm not sure what lubricant will be for yet, but it's better to have and not need than to need and not have. Equipment. No, we've already got the fins. Okay, we're good. So let's put the rest of this back in storage. Uh, we don't need all this food. Seek fluid intake. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I got it. Thank you. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Obviously no good. It's not giving us anything. No. Uh, our fins are equipped already. Yep. Wow. Crazy. Cold. Very cold out there. Warmer in the water. Okay, so we need the vines. Who? What's that? Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Ah, I was right there the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's the great thing about this game is, yeah, <laughs> the stupid things you do and not realize. Oxygen, new blueprint synthesized. Yeah, we need that. Thank you. Oh, 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 we're blocking out. Oh, oh. Forgot about oxygen. Okay. 
Okay, I think we've got enough of that for now. We'll grab one more just to make sure we've got extra. Oh! Oh, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. It stole my tool! <sighs> it stole my knife! Oxygen. Little bugger! Oh, you little tard! What a little sneak! You stole my knife! Did he drop it? What a little turk! Oh! Dirty rotten! Oh, you bugger! Did you drop it down here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, that's not... <laughs> I know what those do. Yeah, you're gonna walk into that and I'm gonna get killed. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Oh, I can't believe that little Tark stole my knife. What a monster. Oh my goodness, I worked so hard for that knife too. <laughs> well, I guess I can make another one. I'll have to remember now that, uh, yeah. Oh, little shoot. First aid kit, that's good. We'll make a couple of those. Oh, I'm still... Wow. I guess I shouldn't be too bent out of shape. So, in the first game, there's nothing that steals stuff from you, okay? This is all new to me. And, uh, yeah, I'm not used to things stealing from you. <laughs> crabby. Uh, I wouldn't call it crabby. I'd call it, like, downright theft. Uh, interesting. Okay, what Some is this? Some of the wildlife down here is very... Grabby. You think? Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Yeah, we already got that. What's this? Some of the wildlife down here. Oh. Okay. Some of the wildlife down here is very annoying. Uh. I wish that would stop coming up. Okay, so we need to make the battery and we need copper ore. So let's grab our copper ore out of here. And make the battery. I really wish stuff would not appear in my my hand. Okay, so now we need to We've got the copper ore, we need the ribbon plant. Okay, I'm not liking how that's in my hotbar. I really, really don't like how that's in my hotbar. I will have to figure out how to remove that after, because that is annoying. Um, okay. Well, where's the... Uh, what the heck am I after? Oh, for goodness sakes. I totally... Lost my train of thought. Okay, ribbon plant. Yeah. Oh, we need more. Because we made battery out of it. We need more ribbon plant now. Oh, that's insane. Uh, I don't have any more, so I have to go back and get more. Okay, we are going to eat that. And we are going to store this stuff away because I don't want it in my inventory like that. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. 
Oh, knife. Let's see if we can make another knife. Um. Oh, that's just annoying. So it might grab my scanner too. That's not going to be cool. Uh, silicone rubber and titanium. Silicone rubber, titanium. What was it for the other one? It was battery and something else. And we need batteries. We've only got enough for one battery, so. All right. Let's make this. All right, I have a scanner. Yeah, till the thing grabs it, right? Turks. Let me grab some uh, titanium again. That's going to become a very big commodity for a long time in the game. Thank you. I'll take that. Oh, there we go. Blessed be. Okay, so I can do that. Perfect. All right, let's take that. In other words, do not have whatever it is in your inventory like this, or the little snark's going to come and steal it. So let's see if we can scan some stuff here. That's good. We need to scan as much as we can. And... Take that. We know what quartz does. Oxygen. Shelf coral. What does it do for us? Uh, pond of glowing and rocky edges. Stone corals. Uh, upwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all this stuff just kind of tells you what it is. The flora and fauna kind of deal. Um, yeah. So we just need to see. Try and learn as much as we can in our immediate area as possible. Some things are harvestable, some things are not. Like those are not. Let's not have that out in the open because apparently that little fish likes to steal. Oxygen. Yes, oxygen. Thirst. We know. We got it. Thank you. Okay, so let's go back and grab some water because apparently we're thirsty again. Uh, unfortunately, the better part of the game is all about uh, just kind of beginning survival. Uh, get your bearings underneath you and figure out what does what. Vital signs stabilizing. And more or less try to acquire as much as you can, as often as you can. And always scan your environment. Ugh, oxygen. That's going to be a problem pretty quick. Oh, sounds like we got meteorites happening. Oh. All right. Coral branch. Um, I know you can make a garden, but it may take a bit after a while. Oh, these peepers like to run, man. They're insane. Okay. All we need to do is scan a peeper, just one. Come on. There we go. Oxygen. Yes, oxygen. 
Okay, so I think we've scanned everything. There is a couple little pieces around the area uh, that we can scan and some materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on with doing this. And in the next video, what we'll do is I'll come back to after I've scanned everything and collected some more food and resources in the area. And uh, I will from there uh, pick up the video. So, yeah, and I'll let you know what I've scanned and what we haven't scanned is everything. Oxygen. We barely skimmed the surface of this. So in the next video, we'll pick it up uh, pretty much where I've left off. We're just going to go ahead, like I said, and scan everything, collect some materials and resources, um, and just kind of get our bearings on what is exactly around us to learn more about it. Apparently, these are those penguins, aren't they? Yes, they are. And, uh, yeah, so from there on, uh, we'll see you on the next show. And I appreciate you all for being here and, and liking and commenting on my videos. Uh, they do help me out a lot. So if you have any advice of a, of a game or something you'd like to see in one of the games that perhaps I own or even ones I don't own, uh, please give me a comment below or uh, whichever. So thank you very much for being here once again. Thank you for the shares, likes, and follows. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.